You just basically go through the field. Every day but Sunday. Polo silks. You'll find John oh, Harold boy. here. Here's one. No. See a little damage there. Walking, looking, searching. Gotta find out. What he's not doing. There's the damage. What he can't do is pick. You can see the silks where they ate them off there. Because this that, year. That won't grade. Before anyone else could get a bite, something else got to his sweet corn. There's the culprit. He'll grow into a fishing worm. This all started months ago. Strong winds from the mountains and other environmental problems allowed the moths to thrive. The moth comes and lays its egg on the silk. The egg hatches, becomes a worm. The worm goes in and eats the corn. So, Which is why he walks uh, before he picks. As far as being good to eat, needs another day or two to get really ripe. But so that's the dilemma you have of uh, rather than harvesting corn, you have to grade the corn in the field and we just can't keep up. The worms and the birds looking for the worms, it's like nothing he's ever seen before. We can't keep up with harvest. You know, we just look back the number of years on the ground. They've got just weeks to find the good stuff, the stuff that passes federal inspections. The Kroger company understands the value of Olathe sweet, sweet corn. But by the same token, uh, they can't leave empty shelves. And they can't plan because of, of the difficulty we're having. So in a nutshell, it's, a, it's just pretty close to a disaster. Harold may only harvest half of his crop. It's easy to say, but it's hard to accept. Farm workers need to be paid, customers are waiting, and so far, nothing can stop the worms. Without help, this industry will go away. The onion industry could go away. Based on an ability to control pests, insects, and so forth, will we'll go away because we haven't got a method in which to bring a crop to fruition. So between all those things, it, uh, it makes you wonder about your sanity for doing what you're doing. But after 82 trips around the sun, he knows some years are better than others. And for John, sweet corn isn't just seasonal. So it's an investment. You, you have to look at the cost. Uh, this stuff costs, uh, uh, when it's said and done, $1,000 an acre. And you lose uh, 700 acres. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that uh, that's probably not something that uh, you want to do very often. From the looks of things. So he keeps walking. We won't be able to harvest this field. Looking and searching for something worth picking. We st still go on, don't sleep as well, but uh, still get up in the morning. <clears throat> CSU has a state entomologist on the Western Slope who studies these insects, and she says these worms have become resistant to insecticide, and the climate changes and everything else with them, the moths arrive so much earlier, mm -hmm. they don't really know what they're gonna do, and it's impacting farmers all over. So when he goes out and he sees that part of the field is damaged, he's not able to use that like as feed corn for animals or anything like that? No, no, so he's gonna harvest about half his crop this year. Insurance, of course, covers some of it, but he said he has his icing facility and his laborers that he pays. Mm -hmm. That impacts the onion fields. It impacts everything. It's trickle down. And the insurance won't make him whole no. on what he's going to lose. No. Man, mm -mm. that's just, that's a brutal situation. They got to control the moth or they mm -hmm. might not do this. Continue, at least.